Hello, and welcome to this tutorial which describes how to use the City of Edmonton's desktop-based interactive vegetation map. There is also a smartphone map, a version of this map, which has reduced functionality. However, the same principles apply. As background, the data informing this map comes from the City's vegetation database called the Urban Primary Land and Vegetation Inventory, or UPLBI for short. At its most basic, the UPLBI decides a study area within and around the City of Edmonton into what has been developed, or 47,000 hectares, 41% of the study area, what is modified, 45%, and the remainder of the land base, which makes up 14% considered in a natural state. The overall database covers Edmonton plus 3.2 km buffer for a total area of just under 115,000 hectares. The buffer was included in the inventory to help city planners understand regional natural connectivity. Data from intermunicipal buffers can be found in the drop down list, and the City of Edmonton can be selected for further exploration. Please note that when an area is selected, all area and percentage calculations are updated. For example, Edmonton contains 18,612 features, otherwise known as polygons, that combine to make up an area of 70,000 hectares, 55% of which is considered developed, 35% modified, leaving 10% of the city considered remaining in a natural state. If you are more interested in finding out about information of a particular Edmonton community, simply enter the community name. In this case, we will use um, the Dakota, the most recently approved area structure plan. Just hit apply. To zoom into your area of interest, simply click the button with the four arrows on the bottom right hand corner of the map. Other standard ways to explore the map include grabbing and moving the map, zooming in and out by using the buttons in the bottom right hand corner or scrolling with your mouse. To find out more about an area's naturally vegetated areas, there are some high level filters that can be excluded, explored including the vegetation stand, type, primary tree species, and wetland type. It is important to note that the interactive map has the greatest detail in those areas that are covered by natural vegetation and features. However, there is some high-level information you can review using the primary site type filter. Here, the study area is divided into 34 land use classes, or otherwise known as site types, each of which can be explored using either the pie chart. In this case, we've selected the annual, or the annual crops, or there, is an addition, there are additional charts under the chart layer in which you can um, include a drop down list and choose annual crops in that way or any of the other site types. Note, if you've accidentally closed a chart, for example, I'm closing municipality, you can go back into this chart filter and reselect it to turn it on. To remove a filter, for example, to go back and see the whole city, just simply remove the filters you're no longer interested in, such as annual crops and Dakota. And you could go back to your original extent using the full extent button. If you are more interested in the data than the map, then you can click the C button on the right hand side of the screen, where this displays the charts only. And here you can quickly assess the main site types and other information related to the features you have selected. In this case, one can quickly see that three main site types within the City of Edmonton include established residential, commercial, and annual crops. Compare this to Dakota, which we just explored, and you can very quickly compare the areas. Click Apply, and you'll see that here Dakota is dominated by annual crops. When you go back to the map page, you can see that the area of selected polygons is highlighted. To refresh the map, a simple way is to go into your filters layer and reset all. That finishes our tour of the UPLVI interactive map. As one last note, the UPLVI was originally designed for use by natural resource professionals who have a background in using ecosite based vegetation inventory. The web based map that we just took a tour of was created for those who want to explore the data but do not have access to professional mapping software, which is required to use the full suite of UPLVI database attributes. For ecological professionals, we recommend that you download and use the full UPLVI set dataset 
and Associated Interpreters Manual, which can be downloaded from the City of Edmonton's Open Data Catalog. Thank you.